Have you seen the piles of paper that international travelers have to complete in order to get their VET refunds? Long queues in the airports and stressed people running late for their flights. The innovation has happened in many areas of traveling, but VET refunds are being overlooked. Meet Peter, a traveler who wants to get his VET refund back. He has to go through this daunting process, fill numerous forms, wait hours in queues, and in the end, he doesn't receive his money back. After my last experience, when I was late for the flight, I couldn't bear it anymore. This is how Innovat was born. Innovat is a digital solution that offers the fastest and easiest VAT refund experience for travelers, making their journey stress-free. Travelers will be able to get their money back in three simple steps. Create a profile, upload the receipt, and get the money back when leaving the country. Let me show you how this works. We move to the demo, please. A traveler has to go through a quick and straightforward KYC check by uploading the documents. He then has to input his trip details, which we automatically locate via APIs with our travel partners, and then choose his refund method. We support many of those. He then has to upload the receipt from any UK store, which we automatically verify and extract the necessary data, creating a digital VAT form. We link the digital VAT form to the QR code. The customer has to scan the QR code in the airport and get his money back in three working days. On top of that, we have a recommendation tool that analyzes the purchase of the customer, recommending the items from the same retailers, complementing the look of our traveler. We move back to the presentation, please. So our customers are travelers like Peter. They love to shop, but hate to wait and lose money. We are based in London, as it is a growing hub of both traveling and shopping. The UK tax market is around $4.3 billion, and it is growing 7% year on year. It is looking extremely attractive, with several European governments already contacting us in how we can incorporate our agile solution into their legacy systems. Not to mention, the European tax market is around $20 billion. There are many favorable opportunities for Innovat in the current market. First of all, open banking. Open banking allows us to read customer transaction data, normalize it, standardize it, and completely eliminate the need of uploading the receipts by syncing with the customer's bank account and Brexit. When and if Brexit happens, European Union customers will be able to get their VAT refunds when traveling and shopping in the United Kingdom. The tax-free industry has never been challenged before. Old players have an obsolete process with paper, huge fees, and queues. The new entrants have gone into compliance issues. We found a legal way on how we can scale our solution to a global level. So Innovat is a fully digital, easy to use, and completely transparent application. And on top of that, you get the retail offers. So it's a win for all the parties. For travelers, you get more money, and you don't have to queue. For the government, we help them with their compliance systems, and we help them eliminating the fraud. And for the retailers, we help with the customer retention, as well as helping them with stepping into the international travelers market. Our business model, pretty simple. We charge a percentage fee, as well as weekend variable fee, and fees on risky currencies. We are looking in how we can prove our concept, working with some of the biggest names out there, such as L'Oreal and LVMH. We are also looking in how we can leverage our solution by partnering with large airlines and travel agencies, such as Aeroflot and EasyJet as our distribution partners. We are all on the user acquisition strategy, we are looking in how we can integrate our solution and tap into the local communities of international travelers market in platforms such as Telegram. We've also integrated our solution in WeChat. We believe that our team has the necessary skills to bring this product 
to a global level. I myself was a professional esports player, and I sold my first business in gaming, as well as working in a technology VC firm. I also have a master's in accounting from the London School of Economics, focusing on VAT taxation. My co-founder knows how to launch products on a global level from her past working experience at Revolut as an early employee in both legal and operations department. We've also built a solid team of advisors to support us in our business, including ex-tax-free entrepreneurs and ex-government employees. So if you're a traveler like Peter, join Innovat and get your tax-free, stress-free. <laughs> Judges. First off, that was like to the second on <laughs> the time limit, so that's very impressive. Thank you. You mentioned that some of the other startups have run into compliance issues. Be a little more specific on what they did wrong and what you've done right. Definitely. So the, hu the whole market, if you take it as 100%, 99% is still paper processed. And it's basically inefficient. The government doesn't have the data points. And the new entrance doesn't understand how to build a compliance system, which will be basically, which will be used in partnerships with the government. So one of our secret sources, which I can't tell you right now, is building this compliance system, which is approved by the government and which allows us to process our tax refunds digitally. If you're interested, I can tell you more about it after the event, but now uh, I'm not sure I can disclose this information. Can I ask just a clarifying question? When you pr when you show people deals, post they post. Um, submitting their claim. This is for them in the airport or they can go to the retailer and use a coupon later? Like how do you, and how do you expect to make money from that and what percentage yep, will thank that you. drive? Very, very good question. So once the customer makes a purchase in the store, he uploads the, re the receipt to our system. We analyze and verify this receipt and when we, when we analyze and verify it, we can already recommend the items which will complement the look. So the customer is still, for example, ah, being in London. There. Yes, yeah. we have two options of how we can cross-sell it. The customer can either go to the same store and purchase, having a specific spe special offer with us, or the customer can purchase it online. And we are having a revenue sharing agreement with the store that we are advertising on the platform. Got it. Thank you. Would you be able to share a little bit more color around um, customer satisfaction, repeat usage, the, the engagement, and, and how customers, how much customers love it? So we are currently in the process of beta testing. We started the company four months ago. Mm -hmm. We built all the technology in that time, and we have more than 1,000 people already signed for the closed beta testing. We've done a lot of surveys. We've done a lot of closed beta testing, and nearly 99% of the customers love our solution. They love that they're saving more time, and that we're offering twice as much money as they can currently get on the market. And on top of that, if they purchase something and upload the receipt for us, they can also get a fashion advice mm -hmm. on what item they can get to complement their look. We found a lot of people love that they can easily upload the picture, and we, do it, we take everything from there. And they just can enjoy their trip and have a stress-free journey. And how do the two of you split your roles? Yeah, so I'm managing the daily operation of the business as well as the legal part. And Ilya is managing the product development and partnerships. We have also the third co-founding member, Igor, who is our tech developer, and he's managing our team of five in our Moscow office. And also he has built our first version as he has a computer revision uh, speciality. And right now our tech developers in the uh, Moscow office are uh, developing our features and automating the whole process of our system. Um, unfortunately, uh, you're not the only startup I've seen addressing this market because it's quite an obvious thing to do. You know, there is quite clearly a sort of a tedious thing about, you know, claiming of VAT on your purchases when you're traveling. Um, plenty of startups are trying to address this. So the question is really, uh, is how are you going to, you know, create some sort of barrier to entry? Where's the sort of barrier to entry that we're missing? Because it just does seem that there are other companies trying to attack this problem. Thank you. It's a very good question. So um, there I, have, I would say there are three main components of our defensibility. First of all, it's our technology solution. We've built the whole technology solution ourselves, which was quite complicated, involved a lot of computer vision specialists, as well as automating the whole process. So we are the only one currently on the market that has this unique technology in-house. 
all our competitors are using third-party providers. By having the technology in-house, we can constantly improve it with the data that we get from the customers, as well as we can have, can have a, a better price advantage, because we can give customers more money back. Uh, if you take um, one of the providers currently, to scan one receipt, you need to pay uh, 50 cents uh, per just scanning one receipt. We think it's inefficient because we don't have to pay anything when we have the technology in-house. Secondly, second component, we have all the networks with the retailers, and we are signing exclusive partnerships. So if the retailer wants to cross-sell the items, they go through our platform, and we have this unique relationship. We haven't seen any competitors doing similar stuff, and we are the first one who developed this uh, recommendation tool, which is also leveraging machine learning in analyzing the purchase behavior and comp uh, like um, recommending the item. And thirdly, we are the customers of the product. So all of our team is coming from either Russia or Ukraine, and we have found this issue extremely important. And we haven't seen any party dealing with this issue for about five years. The current big providers, they have a B2B model, and for them, they can't switch to a B2C model. For us, we are store agnostic. It doesn't matter from which store you buy an item. You just take a picture of the receipt, you upload it to us, and we do the whole process ourselves. Uh, just as a follow-up, um, I take that, take it that you're building your own platform, and therefore your data, the quality of data is probably going to be better, and you don't need to re you're not required to use these third-party providers. But the issue is, is that there is going to, there is there are startups who use the third-party providers, and they're, therefore are able to scale very quickly. I mean, they can launch more or less now. Um, rather than having to do what you're doing. You're building, doing a lot of heavy lifting, which I totally appreciate. You're, you're really trying to attack it from a different angle. That's fair. But the, the issue is, is that they may well scale a heck of a lot faster than you. Um, so what's your response to that? Uh, to our response to that, that um, we have also uh, um, an exclusive partnership with the government that I haven't mentioned. The which companies government? With the UK government. We are based in London. London is the second biggest market in terms of traveling and shopping and we have an exclusive deal with the government that we are providing the VAT refunds. All of our competitors who can scale easily have gone into compliance issues just because of scaling this product very easily. The VAT refunds are a very tricky area, and we believe taking compliance uh, as a first issue in this space is extremely important. All the other competitors we've seen op are operating in the markets such as Belgium or Slovakia, where the governments are more inclined and more happy to install a digital solution but we believe starting in a market such as France or the United Kingdom, which are the most largest traveling destination, is the hardest task. And once you can change the legislation there, and it, uh, you're, you will be the first mover on the market, you have this forefront advantage of preparing the technology and being the first uh, solution to be launched in this platform. And you guys take, so you take pictures of receipts and then you fund accounts. And like, my first thought is I can think of so many interesting ways to try to defraud you. So, Maybe talk a little bit about like what, what is the fraud risk, what are the fraud vectors, who owns that risk, and how you mitigate it. So we are doing the KYC check of basically analyzing who the customer is and confirming his identity. Then we have the consumer data on where the customer is making the purchase, and we will be able to, in we are basically already now, able to match this customer data with the travel data with the KYC that have made. So when the customer is leaving the country, if he's completely clear, cleared, he doesn't need to show any items on the customs office. If there is some suspension, the customs officer can basically ask the customer to show the item on the customs desk when leaving the country, and we can notify our customer. So that we completely eliminate the fraud, which is extremely huge in the current process. And we help the government with building the better compliance system, because the more data you have, the more secure you are. And currently, with the paper process, you don't have any data points. Last question. All right, give it up for Innovat. Thank you. Thank you.